Welcome back everybody and in this lesson we are going to create our geometry and put it in the right space. Um, we already saw our camera point cloud, all these uh, little squares and we are going to merge it over our footage. Um, you can always uh, plug your background into it which gives you the, the same result but I usually do uh, just a merge over because it has an alpha and you can just merge it over and for me it's much better because in the end I'm also going to m just m merge it over my shot so if we look at all of these points you can really see that it is tracking really nicely so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to place my first geometry I'm going to feel my camera tracker will give me all of these points and I can create any geometry from all of these points. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick a point which have the error of uh, less than 0.5. And here it is. RMS error 0.4. So I'm going to create a card. And I'm going to plug it in my scene and I'm also going to put in a checkerboard. And checkerboard is always great to check if, if something is working because it never lies. It has all of these points uh, and you really know like if something is off or not. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to fill my scanline render and see if it works. As you can see um, the card is I think it's going up. I, yeah. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to um, select my card and I'm going to set my rotation to default. So now it doesn't have any rotation anymore. And we really want it to lay on the ground. So I'm going to put my orientations to ZX. And now it's flat on the ground. I'm going to position it because I know all of these points is the ground plane. So I'm going to scale it up the way it covers the whole ground. So I'm going to bump up my scale. Uniform skill and move it forward, and I'm going to increase my set skill and a little bit of my X. So now we know that these these are the buildings, and this is the ground plane, and we can put whatever you want on it. So I'm going to call this my ground plane reference all right so now if you're going to feel our scanline render press tab we can see that this is laying flat on the ground so we're going to deselect our camera points and view our merge and as you can see we have our ground plane which is awesome and if you want to view it better, we are going to put our merge operation to plus and just put a grade in between. This is just to visible, we're gonna call this visible and we're gonna make it an ugly color. Something like uh, purple. So we know we have to deselect it when we are going to render. So I'm going to gamma down and multiply up so I can really see like if something is off or not. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to flip book it I'm using Alt F and see if it's good enough for the track. So um, I'm going to pause it and be right back. All right, we're back and uh, the frame cycle is almost done. And after we're done with placing our mm, geometry, we're gonna do a sky replacement in the next lesson. But first, let's check if everything is fine. So let's just wait till the frame cycle is done. And here we go. I'm just gonna press minus on my keyboard. And let's just check if, if everything looks fine. And from my point of view, everything looks really nice. Yep. It's staying on the ground, it knows where the ground plane is, and uh, it 
it's it's the shake is really good. So I'm very happy with this result, and we are going to place uh, the jump tree for our main building. I'm we'll call this my hero building because this building is going to be destroyed, and we all love destruction. So what we're going to do is back to our camera tracker, and we're gonna select all of these points. We are going to create a cylinder because that's what it is, right? And where is you? Oh, there, there it is. So, uh, in this, we're gonna plug it also in, in our uh, checkerboard, and I'm going to plug in a merge geo, which is going to merge the geometry because I don't want to have points all over the um, lines all over the place. I want to keep my uh, my node tree clean for you guys to see. All right. So if we go to our scene, this should be in the right space. So I'm going to view my merge. And it should be, but I think it's too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my uniform scale to 0.7. And that's a little bit too small, so we're going to 0.75. And I'm going to move it a little bit. And this should be on the ground so what I'm going to do, I'm going to my scene I'm going to press it and press F and I'm going to move it down and I'm, you can also adjust your your height like this and put it a little bit in the ground so that looks fine and I'm going to Merge, uh, view my merge again, and now this should be staying there, and it is. So this is great. So now we can do whatever we want with this building. We can we can just make it another color. We can just uh, paint something in Photoshop and project it, and this is really great. We can do whatever we want. So in this lessons, uh, we learned how to place our geometry in the right 3D space and also see if everything's working and in the next lessons we're going to start creating our sky replacement and mountains so see you in the next lessons